April 25th was just another day, but not for Bradford High School in Kenosha. Just before 8.30 on a Tuesday morning, three 15-year-old boys walked into a study hall where one of their previous friends, Timothy Carson, was sitting. Des John walked up to Timothy, punched him before Timothy came back and stabbed Des John in the heart. This story is true and it has the possibility of happening to any school, regardless if it's a small town or a big university. According to Every Town for Gun Safety, every year roughly 2,900 children and teens are killed or shot in a school violence. Do you remember the Sandy Hook massacre? A 20 year old man walked into an elementary school and opened fire. This left 20 children and six staff members dead. Every Town for Gun Safety tracks gun violence that takes place on school grounds. I believe schools need to take better safety precautions to protect students and faculty within the building. There are many different things that we can do. The first thing that we can invest in is security cameras. According to Scholastic, they reported from the U.S. Department of Education that 86% of public schools have reported of one or more serious crimes, which can include theft or other violent incidents. Scholastic reports that they talked with a Michigan principal who says that the time is right to invest in security cameras. He stated that when he talked to schools around him, they reported of a down ranking in crimes after they obtained security cameras. According to Fixer, security cameras cost roughly from $870 to $1,000. But security cameras can show you who enters the building, who leaves the building, what goes on in the hallways, and it could possibly stop incidents from happening before they even start. Another security sy system is a door blockade system. Troy Lowe, who is a decorated military veteran and SWAT team member, talked with Bilco about a device he manufactured called the Barracuda Intruder Defense System. Lowe developed his product for both inward and outward swinging doors, so depending on the type of door you have is going to depend on the type of or on the model that you obtain. Lowe says that his systems work for virtually any door and they're strong and easy to use because you slide it in and lock it. According to Bill Code, prices vary, but they're typically under $300 and they're less expensive than a typical lock set system. Some people also believe that having fewer doors is the answer. A quote from Mike Kennedy states that the fewer doors, especially those equipped with lock sets, the fewer security problems that arise. The final defense system is one done by staff. I believe that the school should invest in training to protect their students from with the teachers. According to Fox 31 Denver, Director of Advanced Training states that businesses, schools, and churches all need to have an emergency plan. Business Insider states that 40% of mass shootings are over before the police arrive, which is why ALICE is one of the options that schools can invest in. It stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. ALICE is a more advanced training system that helps students and teachers get ready for an event that could happen. In fact, our school even has invested in ALICE training. ALICE training is expensive. It costs typically around $5.95 per person per session, and each session is typically two days for the whole day. ALICE training is not the only training system. There are computer simulators that represent a 3D model of a school and teachers have to coordinate how to barricade, lock doors, evacuate students, and much more. So if we picture students in a room, gunshots going off, then we realize that there is an actual problem. No parents, community staff wants to experience this. Going back to Des John and Timothy's story, we know that crimes are serious. It took the life of Des John before he passed away in the hospital from his injuries that were fatal. Although these systems are expensive, I believe that there is no amount of money that is too much if it can save the life of children, teens, and staff members.